Dave Snyder here. It is April the 30th, 2013. Okay, the other day in uh, my Moon Truth rant video, I, I, I was ranting about how the weather was so perfect here one time at the, in the Schrodinger crater that it showed me how to align to align this crater. It showed me where to put it. I, I was just going on and on about that, right? How perfect the weather was, right? Well, the weather's the live weather right now is not perfect. I wouldn't say that it is perfect, but I'll, it, it, it shows you because that day that I told you that there was nothing here. There was no weather in this circle. It looked anything like this circle, but to, and this picture doesn't move. Okay, it's been it's still in the exact same place. Here's the weather today. It's only been it's only like three days later. It's like three days after I said that. And I'm not saying it's perfect, but this is the, an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you here. Look, look at this, this this cloud right here. How it fits right into that little center area where you see this little spot here. Okay, it fits right in there. And then look at look at the curve. And in the next couple of days, it may it may m become more defined over the next couple of days, possibly because it does this every month. Pretty much every month, I've noticed this every month. This circular pattern right here, next to New Zealand or wherever you want to say it is. And then look at the weather here today, in the middle of it, where, where I have it lined up. I showed you this the other day in my Moon Truth rant video, where I was ranting on and on. Because look, this is this is what it, this is what it's like. This is what I see. Okay, you see that? Look at the weather come right around and. I'll check this a month from now, and it'll and basically all month, uh, every day, uh, every day I can. I check them all the time, and I mean, not, I should check it more a few times a day, every day, and record it, organize, it, record it in an organized way, and present it in an organized way to show you exactly what I'm saying, because I I, I know for a fact it would not f I would not fail, it, you would it would you would have no choice, but it, to check it out if I did that. But I, I got too much to do in my day that I can't do that. I just, I mean, I could probably squeeze it in there, but I don't really want to. I, you know, I, got, I want some time to do what I do things, other things I like to do. So I'm just saying, if I wanted to, I could, I could present this in a way that you would have no choice but to, to understand and take a look at if I wanted, to, if I really wanted to put effort into it. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna let. I would rather because really, in the long run. In the end, you, it has to be you that checks it out and, and finds this out for yourself. I can't. It, I'm not going to be able to show you all that I, all that I need to show you to do this. You can copy what I'm doing here, no problem. Just take pictures of the South Pole, of the Moon, or or any part of the Moon, and reverse them, put them over the Earth, and just copy some of the ones that I've done, and just check them on a daily basis, whatever, however often you want. You put the video out there that organizes it or whatever. You do it, because I don't have I don't have time. But there's there's definitely <laughs> definitely a story here, okay? Definitely a huge story, and there's and it, it never fails. It does not fail. This crater will be here in the same spot next month. I'm not going to move this picture, and next month, but next time this comes comes and looks like this, which is it, you know, all the time, I'll show it to you if I if I catch it. If I can catch it, I'll show it to you. But you can do the same thing. If you feel like you can do it better. I wish I wish you would, and just I'd like to watch your videos if you do too. Please uh, share them. I mean, I wouldn't I would I wouldn't say anything about any you know, buddy taking my idea or anything like that because it is not my idea. This is known already. This is known by people already. But I re, the reasons why they don't share it I don't understand. But you know, but they I, well I do. It's, it's it's like I said a thousand times, maybe a million times. It's it's all due to greed. You know. Now they can't tell you the truth because it, it, it would discredit everything that they've said in the past, and they, they're, they're not. No one would do that. I wouldn't do it either, if I was told you a bunch of shit for years, for you know, for decades, or you know, for forever, whatever. I would. I would definitely not make myself look bad by saying, saying, finding the truth and then, then telling it. You know, saying, "Oh, I was wrong all this time." Hell no, I wouldn't do that either. Well, maybe I would. I mean, because if you're wrong, it's better to admit you're wrong than it is to just be wrong, I guess. But you know, not when you're a scientist or someone that's devoted a lot of uh, a lot of you know stuff into the into this uh, the original the accepted theory, which is bullshit. I mean, look, any any geologist or meteorologist or astronomer ought to know this, and if they don't, then uh, I wouldn't call them an astronomer. It, even if it's fake, 
even if it's fake, then they're still not an astronomer, a, you know, a lunar scientist, any of, any of that. If these are, if they're saying these are the lunar images, then they're they're in on it, basically, and they're not telling the truth. So therefore, they are not astronomers. They are liars. Hmm. That's a good way to put it, right there. I think. So, expose the lie, embrace the truth. Look, I, like I said, I, those Sailor Moon. I'm going to put links to the, all these videos, or the Sailor Moon videos that I, I'm telling you, where they tell, talk about this all day long. There's so much in the, in those things that you just. They, they, it tells you. It, they tell you. The Japanese people tell they tell their people about this in their own way, and it's very cool. We don't do that here in our, in America. We don't do that here. Believe me, the last thing they're going to do is is try to sneak the truth into us. Well, they kind of do. I guess they do. And those stupid, you know, document or like uh, not documentaries, but like Family Guy and, and all them with the bombing and all that's. But that's that stuff is just totally evil. All of it, the whole thing, all of it's so evil. I don't even want to even put even talk. I should. I don't even like talking about it right now. I don't even like bringing it up because it's it's feeding it. it I'm feeding. Feel like I'm feeding the the uh, feeding the lie. Or, you know what I mean? I'm not going to feed into it. I don't want to do that no more. I don't even want to watch any news. I, I don't, nothing. I don't care. Whatever you tell me, you're lying. Whatever you say on the news, you're lying. Everybody. I, Alex Jones too. Alex Jones. He the way he says that he, he always agrees that it's a false flag, but he always has to accept. He always accepts the cover story uh, every time. Every time he always gives gets accepts the government cover, cover story, even though he thinks it's it's. It, a false flag from the beginning, which means that, he, that it's not what it's not real from the beginnings. But then he starts to accept all the accepted stuff on the new, on the mainstream news. So you're not he's not a, 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 what do they call it a, a what kind of media the um, oh, I can't even think of the word right now. Yeah, he's not the mainstream, but the other one. Okay, alternative media. He's not alternative because he he follows that the, the whole. Every bit of the of the mainstream news, hook, line, and sinker. He hooks it right in. He catches right into it. He's part of it. He gives the cover story. They give the they. they it's I'm telling you. He he gives more cover story than anybody does. I mean, than the actual news itself. I think. So how can you be alternative media when you're using all the stuff that's on the uh, me, mainstream media to tell your story? You know to to try to prove your story that it is a false flag by using their news and their their information you can't do that that don't work it does not work you can't use the mainstream media's information about all like these guys were from da 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 on the FBI. they can't use none of that you can't use none of that alex because it's if you if you're going to say it's it's a lie from the start then it's got to be all a lie so you can't use any of it you have to make up your own thing or something, you have to you come. You have to get your own information from from somewhere else. You can't get use any information from anywhere in the me, mainstream media, or just you're just as, it, it makes it discredits you just as much. It discredit you're just dis, you you discredit yourself all the time, Alex Jones. I mean, I love you, and you you opened my eyes a lot from your very first movie. I've watched, I've seen everything. I've been following you for years, but I'm telling you right now. The Sandy Hook thing, where you give, where you give in and say that nobody died or a bunch of kids died, and you're, you talk about that. Oh, I do think the kids died. I think the children did die. There, you're full of shit, Alex. You know damn well that that they didn't. But you, just in case, you're not going to feed in either that or the Secret Service is telling you you better not say it or something. Okay, I'm telling you, I I know what you're up to. Okay, I see right through it. I'm not going to. I I like you, man, but I, I I'm not falling for that shit. You can't say that. You can't say that this is fake and then that's that part's real. You cannot. You know it. You know that shit's bullshit. Either that or you're just you're just feeding us bullshit because you're working for them. Stop it. Knock it off. I mean, I, I know you become big time, you know, guy, but just knock it off. Go back to where you started. That's that's when you were, you know, real. Starting to get a little repetitive, a little fake. I mean, that's fake, man. You know that. You know that there was. You can see. If you looked at the pictures as closely as everybody else has looked at them, you can see that nobody got hurt in that shit. That shit was fake. Those nobody was bleeding to death. There's a guy laying on the ground with no blood puddle pouring. Out. He would have blood squirting out of his leg, and and people would have been helping him. That, that shit was so fake. Okay, that that scene was completely controlled, completely. 
they made it so that nobody could get into the scene. You seen the barricades, how, how hard it was to get in there? I mean, after those explosions went off, you couldn't get in there if you tried. So they had that scene con completely controlled. The only people in there were the people, those actors, crisis actors, where they're used to those explosions going off right next to them because they'd practice it all the time with those amputee people. I mean, that stuff could be fake too, but it seems pretty real. See, that part seems real. We know that they do the crisis stuff, so that's why I say the scene was controlled. It was bullshit. It was all practice drill, just like the shit in Southern California. Nobody, nobody died there either. That Chris Dorner guy, was he's probably dead. Okay, he's probably dead a long time ago. He's probably somebody from the Vietnam or the Iraq war that died in the war or something with no family. They just used his picture because no one was, could say anything. They, that guy didn't exist. And no cops were killed and nobody was killed. Don't be an idiot, Alex. I mean, I know you're smart. Be smart. Act like it. All right. Have a good day.